All right. So I did change the uh, thumbnail to that goddess, the fire goddess, per that commercial. <laughs> Just so, <laughs> so weird how, of course, they line everything up in their pagan world. Um, my, That Breakfast in America album cover. I mean, what's up with that? Um, One thing that would be very ironic is if Trump goes down at a New Year's Eve party within the next hour or two is that Laura Rutledge is running the pregame show for the Scarlet because the purple is winning right now. It doesn't, they're all mystery Babylon. Again, the M for Michigan to be a Michigan man. M is the big letter. Um, that's the descriptive word of them, the short version. Uh, the M instead of the longer version with the, that begins with the F. That has the M in it. And uh, am I talking in riddles? Yeah. Well, anyway, you know, it makes me feel better not to say it because I live in the 3388 zip code where we have the Red Devils and the Blue Devils and the Highlanders and the Thunder. All football teams right around within 30-minute driving distance. They're all in my county. Yeah. Yeah. And Trump's the Highlander, of course. And the Lake Wells Highlander is just one state. So I'm thinking pretty much high school football is also rigged. But it's not rigged at the total player level. I think some of the players are brought into it. I think fraternities are now beginning in high school. Uh, they, we already know that they have the younger version of the girls and the boys. Um versions of that i'm not going to get into the names of them but they're started by the um, mystery babylonian clubs to bring them in at the younger ages and but as far as high school football as long as the coaches are in all that's that's all you need and uh i can assure you that most all of your high school coaches today are of that fraternity of that brotherhood and um, you're living in Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon runs the earth. When you become, you when you really get the call to be a sheep and you start coming out of the world, like, you know, we don't celebrate Christmas, New Year's, Easter, any pagan holiday. I, I don't celebrate birthdays. Birthdays are all about the birth of um, Jesus, of course. And they're making everybody king for a day. Jesus was king. And they only celebrated his actual birth, never his birth day moving forward. There's no Bible verses or passages about, hey, Jesus, it's your birthday. Like when he turned 12 or whatever. Or 30. Right? There's a mention of him turning 30. We just read it at T.S. Daily Bible Studies. But, uh, yeah, no, there's no mention of uh, celebrating a birthday. And there's no letters by Paul. Boy, they're just racking up touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. <laughs> I don't know who's going to win. The M, which is all about Mystery Babylon, but it's what you call them. Or the purple, because that's representing the colors. Purple. They have the final four, though. They have the G. They have the M. That's Georgia and Michigan. And then they have the purple and the scarlet. So they have it all, don't they? We get into that. When you look at Ohio State, it's literally called scarlet for purple and scarlet. So now you know what they've been about. TCU shows up on the scene out of the blue. Purple. Purple and Scarlet. What's um, Clemson always been about? You're the tiger. Clemson University's colors. Clemson University's colors are purple, white, and orange. Purple and orange. Orange, of course, comes to 33 in Gematria. We showed you that yesterday. At least we did at one of the channels. Um 
my fake football channel since we've got some amazing subscribers there has just become a almost like two separate channels but uh when you key in orange you get the 33 which is all you need and that's why the orange juice is on the color of uh apparently it didn't take so we will do it again full reduction comes with 33 and but what else did we and don't forget Sirius was the name of the dog at 9-11 it's all about Sirius the dog star and so that's super interesting but yeah Laura Rutledge birthday is October 2nd 1988 which is the Donnie Darko date in the movie October 2nd 1988 Laura Rutledge, who was ESPN, NFL, and ESPN, SEC, SEC Nation. How ironic if she's the one that announces to the world. Um, now, something might not happen until 2024, but this is New Year's Eve. I pet goat is coated heavily with New Year's Eve. Now, it could be the new year heading into, I got to show you all this. This is my Facebook, um, what they what they call the cover photo or whatever. I, I call this, and I'll never remove it because I call it me during the Great Depression. Don't I look like one of those old men from those old timey uh, photos during the Great Depression? <laughs> look at those ears. Oh, in the tennis shoes. Oh, so I call it me during the Great Depression. We had generic uniforms. We had no sponsors, so we just had Bloodhounds, which is the name of the high school football team. Uh, we had no sponsor. Look at that hat. We had no sponsor on the hat. Um, all I'm missing is a cigarette hanging out of my mouth. It's just the funniest thing you ever seen in your life. I'm sorry. Um, me, during the Great Depression. Um but yeah, Laura, what was I talking about? Laura Rutledge. Laura Rutledge birthday. That's the Donnie Darko date in the movie Donnie Darko, where Donnie's killed by the jet. So how fascinating would it be if she's announcing it? Because that's why she's propped up, because she has that birthday. And just how fascinating would it be if she makes the announcement? Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I feel like, uh, might as well get into some prep. Uh, Tom Hardy and Daniel Craig are both in the movie Layer Cake. Tom Hardy, of course, Bane. Daniel Craig, of course, 007. Um, James Bond is Trump. 007. I'm sorry, 007, James Bond is Trump, the seventh king, 007, seventh king of Mystery Babylon. And very cryptic in the movie, the final one, where they have another 007. So they reinstated Bond and she goes, what number? And they never answered. Of course, he's the eighth. Straight out of the Bible, the eighth is of the seven. Suddenly an eighth king appears and it says the eighth is of the seven. That's your twin trumps, your twin towers or the prestige where they give you the double Trump or the cloning per the Peyton Manning commercial, double Trump, you know, with the Oreos and just, it's, it's just fascinating how they do all this. But, uh, and Batman of course is Trump, which Tom Hardy, um, Bane. So layer cake to the movie Amsterdam, because Layer Cake is all about the town Amsterdam and all the actors that rep 007, you know, Christian Bale, all of them are in this movie Amsterdam, and which came out October 7th, and Layer Cake came out October 1st. It's 186, 18 years, six days, 18 is six plus six plus six, and look at the months, 216 months, which is six times six times six is 216. Fused with the six days, which is 2166. And the 66th book of the Bible is the book of Revelation. So just 
very funky how I started watching Layer Cake again. And um, the hours from 9-11, what's this about? To the 6th, one eight six eight eight eight. That's the wolf full moon from 9-11-2001, 186888. And that's 186.8. So 68 is the reversal of 86. It's a nice fusion there. So it's, you know, all the way through the fourth, you have to look at him going down. Actually, he could go down on the 6th of January, that big date that they coded. But I think that date's been coded because of the wolf full moon. And why would anything happen afterwards? If they're setting you up for the January 6th Wolf Full Moon back two years ago when they had that big event, staged event. Uh, 121 is in the minutes, 121 for Antichrist, all that good stuff, right? Yeah. We say good stuff uh, facetiously. 9-11 to January 6th in the hours. Yes, we, we already did that. Thank you. Uh, and we already did that. Did we look at all of them? Oh, the Bible verse. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet. So that's TCU. And that is Ohio State. I kind of feel like they will have Ohio State. I picked the other day on my Facebook, TCU and Ohio State. I kind of think it would be Ohio State also because the quarterback has been never. He never he's never gotten a Heisman. He lost to Michigan. He lost in the playoffs last year. He's been he's been the biggest loser. They're talking about firing the coach of Ohio State, which in real life, you would never even discuss such a winning coach just because he didn't win certain games. But in their drama world, they have to do that. And yet another touch. They are y'all. They are running touchdowns. Fast and furious in this game. Uh, what do we want to look at? Trump times the Bible verse of the of the right eye wound of Zechariah eleven seventeen. Trump's number times eleven seventeen has the eighty nine to the eighty eight, which is that's her. Uh, yeah, and she will be one eight zero two five years old. Um, when her daughter's nine eleven days old. 9-11's in the number 9-11 something. I don't know. We'll get to that later on. Um, all right, anyway, I think that's everything. Laura Rutledge, will she make some kind of announcement in the next hour or two? We know Trump is arriving somewhere on this earth at a New Year's Eve party, surely, celebrating New Year's. Will something go down? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's bring up IPEC Goat one more time. Well, there's your fire starter, your fire starter commercial, the fire rises. Remember Bane saying the fire rises in the movie Inferno is all about the fire. So that's just another cryptic way to talk about. So the exact middle of I Pet Goat shows you the exact middle now shows you Day of the Dead is at New Year's. But what could it be? It could be year of the rabbit sorry i had to take a quick break and not sure what i was talking about wasn't that quick of a break 707 you can go back and look at what time it was <laughs> and um tmi but yeah it's new year's eve now oh we were going to go over that it could be the year of the rabbit new year's eve because wow we hit right on it the trump exit okay trump exit eh. year of the rabbit new year's eve kind of showing you the new year's eve celebration here and um that at new year's eve because of how apples are like a fruit of new year's we googled it came up we went to look for it again. The same the same search did not give us the same answers. I think that's LC for loose change in American coup, which was the big. Now, I'm sure it's got other meanings, too. I'm sure it could mean 1,000 other things. Just like the book of Revelation is layered 
Satan, the ghost in the machine, layered so many cryptic things in this. This is the 133 mark, by the way, 1333, which was my hotel number right at day after the condo collapse. So then there's your Lotus, which is all about rebirth. So he's going through the rebirthing process. But that's what Trump exit, year of the rabbit, New Year's Eve. So, and New Year's Eve is 121. It's the 21st of January. Does he rise on 121? Because the Dark Knight Rises was coded with 121 throughout. It's 727 in length. So one thing we should do is look at this past 727. Yeah, I got the game on in the background. 727 to today. It's right at 157 days. On the rising day, it'd be 3816 in the hours, 896, Okay. Now, if you run it to 121, there's that perfect 178. Remember, I told you all my numbers added together, my favorite numbers. I grew up with numbers. That was my thing. Numbers, 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 numbers. 2 plus 24 plus 27 plus 38, 42, 45. I'll add up to 178. Wow, that's that's really a date we're going to zero in on if nothing goes down today. I can assure you of that. Um, and does he go down on the 19th? So he would actually go down at Year of the Tiger and rise on New Year's Eve of Year of the Rabbit. That would be interesting. 41 to 38, the score is. <laughs> 14 minutes left. Oh, they are just like putting on a show, aren't they? So Laura Rutledge's number, two times 1988. Whoops, I'll put the minus sign. Her number is 3976. Future tense left in the year. It's got a 90. And uh, it is the 276th day of the year because it's a leap year. It's got the 76 again in, in the number. The 98th verse of Revelation is White Horse. 76 for Adam. 638, of course, Earl's Tag. 84 is 12 times 7, which is the cleansing of the church. 12 is the church, 7 for cleansing. 638, cost of the divorce. Earl's license tag that he was arguing over before he was shot and killed. Um, if you just look at day 276 she was born on, times the year, you get the 86ing of the 88. That's Laura Rutledge's number. There's the 54. 254 was the day 9-11 took place. Hey, it's 7-11, y'all. Just switch to 7-12, the cleansing of the church. So it's 276 times 88. Then you multiply that times the two. She was born on October 2nd. Times 90 days left in the year. Yeah, that was what we were talking about, the 70s. We already did that. So she has very interesting numbers. The Donnie Darko date itself, of course, it's got some interesting numbers, doesn't it? If you run today to the, if you run the Donnie Darko date of 1988 to that date on the 21st, three, six, nine, six in the hours, four, one, 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 nine, then the months and days, well, that's big. It's got a lot of big stuff in it. If we run it to the 19th, which might be a potential offing date. <laughs> Another touchdown. Oh, TCU. Look in the minutes. You got eight, three, eight, 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 all in the minutes. With Eve coding 2332 in the seconds. 
my goodness gracious there's that is that is a loaded that that's going to be gigantic and that's one nine january 19th is when donnie darko was released but let's run it by today Not as big as stuff. But you do have your 125, 08. 18, 8, 11. Anyway, just fuzzy math. You got your 178 with your 86. Then Donnie Darko on the rising day. Potential. If you were to go down tonight. On our version of New Year's Eve, you got the one eighty-eight, eighty-six in the seconds, three twenty-four in the hours, three forty-three years and months. Remember, seven times seven times seven is three four three. Four eleven, dead even in the months. So there's just a lot going on. This New Year's Eve and the New Year's Eve or two days before the New Year's Eve of the year of the rabbit. So, but you, you got to figure, you got this wolf full moon on their January 6th date. So you'd think it would happen before then, but nothing's a guarantee. Trump's number times 1117. So you see the 18025. There's no way we've got till that long. 18025. Her mom is 1825 or the 18025 when her daughter is 911 with the 1117 fusion. So that's looking all the way till March 5th. I better put notes in here. Trump times or i'll never remember what that is all right anyway love you all very much we don't say happy new year here that's pagan birthday's pagan we went over that right i think we did all right love you